Welcome back to the best book ever. Today is one of my favourite readings, an extract from the much longer section that changed my life forever. John, chapter 20, the Good News Translation. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been taken away from the entrance. She went running to Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. Then Peter and the other disciple went to the tomb. The two of them were running. But the other disciple ran faster than Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and saw the linen cloths, but he did not go in. Behind him came Simon Peter, and he went straight into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there, and the cloth which had been around Jesus' head was not lying with the linen cloths, but was rolled up by itself. Then. The other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and believed. They still did not understand the scripture, which said that he must rise from death. Then the disciples went back home. Mary stood crying outside the tomb. While she was still crying, she bent over and looked into the tomb, and saw two angels there, dressed in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. Woman, why are you crying? they asked her. She answered, They have taken my Lord away, and I do not know where they have put him. Then she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked. Who is it you're looking for? She thought it was the gardener, so she said to him, If you took him away, sir, tell me where you have put him. I will go and get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and said in Hebrew, Rabboni. This means teacher. Do not hold on to me, Jesus told her, because I have not yet gone back to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them that I am returning to him who is my father and their father my God and their God. So Mary Magdalene went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and related to them what he had told her. Many of you will have recognised this reading because it's often preached on at Easter, but how did it change my life? I love Jesus and the Bible teaches that loving Jesus Giving your heart to him brings you into the promise of redemption, meaning all my sin has been forgiven because Jesus died on the cross and I now live in the promise of new life with Jesus because he came back to life. The ability to live with Jesus every day has been life transforming. You can live this transformed life too. If you know a follower of Jesus Christ, ask them about him. If not, try contacting your local church and ask about the Alpha Course. I'm certain they would love to help you. If this is not an option, perhaps you are watching this from a country where faith in Jesus is illegal, pray, asking Jesus into your life and asking his spirit to guide you to people who can support you in your new faith. He will provide everything you need, according to his 
unbreakable promise, which has been proven many times in my life and the lives of many thousand others. In the description box below, you will find links to last week's reading and the other translations I prepared for this week. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share so others are blessed with the word of God. Next week, there's an urgent message and then we will be beginning a new series reading Ruth's story. See you soon. God bless you.